Hi, this is Brian McElroy. I'm the lead programmer with Physical Liquid Software here in Dublin, Ireland. And I'd like to welcome you to the first in a series of tutorial videos on our plugin for Unity, Liquid Physics 2D. So I'm just going to dive right in and create our first scene with the liquid. So I'll load up Unity. I'll create a new project. Then <clears throat> I'll import the package. So import package. I'm just importing this from my hard drive, but um, when you buy it on the asset store, this process will be identical. So uh, I'll just import everything. Okay, so this is a 2D physics engine, so probably makes sense to set your uh, editor to 2D mode. Um, now the first thing you want to do in every scene in which you're using Liquid Physics 2D is drag in this particular prefab. So in this directory, Liquid Physics 2D prefabs, there's a prefab called LP Manager. So just drag that into your scene. Um, that's all you need to do. Don't worry about that anymore. Okay, so we're gonna create our first scene with liquid. So first I'm gonna create a container for the liquid, some kind of like a basin to hold it. So I will create a new game object. Then I'll go to component, liquid physics 2D, collider, um, I'm going to choose polygon because I can make it in any shape I want in this case. Okay, so as you can see, it starts off as a pentagon, but if we click on draw a shape, we can just start drawing vertices. So this is my basin. And when I get to the last vertex, I just click on stop drawing and then click back in the editor and uh, there we go. So this is our static basin, which will just stay there and contain the particles. Uh, now I'll create a dynamic body, like a ball. So same procedure, I'll create a new game object. I'll go to component, liquid physics 2D, <coughs> collider, and a circle in this case. And uh, I'll just set its body type to dynamic. So it'll fall under gravity. So if we hit play, hooray, physics is happening. But uh, you know, you didn't get this for that. You want to see liquid. So same procedure, create empty game object. And this time we'll say component liquid physics 2D particle group. And we'll just say circle. Um, I'll make it a bit bigger by adjusting the radius here in the inspector panel of this component. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. And uh, I'll move this thing out of the way. Okay, so now when we hit play, hooray, liquid. Um, okay, so that's the absolute basic introduction into how to use this. Um, I'm just gonna take this opportunity to point out a few other resources you can have a look at for um, you know learning how to use this or troubleshooting and so on. First of all, we have a dedicated forum for uh, our assets um, and there's gonna be stickies there with uh, facts and troubleshooting. Uh, also, all the information uh, in those facts is in the documentation is included in the plugin here in the documentation folder, this text file. Um, also, all the uh, components 
that make up uh, the asset. Um, they have this uh, LP prefix in front of them. And uh, every single public field here that you can edit has got uh, tooltips. So if you're curious about any of these things, you know, density, uh, etc. Just um just hover your mouse over them and you'll get more information. Um, also, uh, every one of these classes is fully commented. So if I just have a look at this in MonoDevelop, you can see uh, there's the tooltips and uh, there's a XML commenting summary for uh, you know the classes, all the important fields and uh, all the functions. So telling you what everything does. Um, uh, if you're curious, this uh, asset is actually a plugin for an existing library called uh, Liquid Fun, which was uh, released by some guys at Google, um, which is itself a superset of Box2D, which is the very, very popular 2D physics engine that uh, Unity actually uses itself for its 2D physics. So if you you know, want to read about techniques for how to use these libraries and, you know, how to make, uh, you know, things for your game. Um, the documentation for uh, Liquid Fun and also Box City uh, will be very helpful. Um, so the links to all these resources are going to be in the description of this video. And uh, thanks for watching.